rest. The sorrow and anger were gone from Lucan's eyes. My soul, My soul cannot, cannot hold this, this form much, much longer. longer. I figured, I figured this, time this time was my last chance. chance. No! I thought the demons were all heartless monsters. But I was wrong. Cheshire, was it? Did it? Forgive me Forgive for what I tried, what I tried to, do. to do. The only heartless one was me. Look on. All of a sudden, there was an ear splitting crack and a flash of light illuminated the sky. Morgana had succeeded in breaking the barrier trapping them in the forest. Of course. If we can get you to my master, she'll find a way to save you. What? what? There's still time. Come on, we have to get you to her. Look, Anne, I won't let you die here. Splendid. Oh, the pathos is palpable. <laughs> you! On behalf of Avalon the Forest, you have our eternal Gratitude. Why, the trees themselves shall sing a ballad of your deeds. It was Puka, the self proclaimed king. His usual retinue was nowhere to be seen. Though his outfit had seen better days, his elocution was still to be admired. We're in no mood for your riddles. Back off! We have no need to quarrel. Our subjects will gladly escort you to the edge of the forest. And led by our fairy light, one ill needs that new kind guide. Need a filthy beast where he lies. Puka was after Lucan's spirit and the royal power that it contained. Hearing his words, Ceresa knew it had been Puka who had betrayed the fairy king. Puka who had torn Lucan's family apart before cursing him to wander the forest in solitude. You fiend! Enough! I will run no longer. But in exchange... Let those two go. No! Look on, you can't! This is for the best, Sarisa. My time is up. Look on! Don't give up! We're not going to let you take him, got it? And for the record, I knew you were lying about being a king. So be it! One way or another, he will die. And with his royal line extinguished, we shall be eclipsed no longer. Fairy brethren, the cursed child is finally within our grasp. The false king's son reaches its nadir, and now Poker's star shines bright. Oh. 
on Puka's signal, a terrifying number of fairies appeared out of the darkness. Staring down what must have been every last fairy in Avalon, Ceresa's legs began to tremble. But no matter the odds, she refused to give up. But then... The writhing mass of fairies hot on his heels. Cheshire ran towards the pillar of light. Cheshire ran like the wind. Ceresa felt his warmth through his mane. There was no stopping them now. Escaping the fairies' clutches, the pair made it out of the forest. Or so they thought. the fairies, they were slowly being dragged back into the forest. <coughs> Refusing <coughs> to give in, Ceresa held on with all her might. <coughs> but then... Something sent the fairies flying like leaves scattered to the wind. This was a technique Ceresa had seen before. But before Puka could finish, Morgana extinguished his life with a single powerful strike. Morgana! I'm so 
sorry for disobeying you, but please, save the scolding for later. This wolf is actually the spirit of a boy. If we don't do something, he'll die. Please, Morgana, can you save him? Morgana said nothing. She gently stroked the wolf's fur. Confused, Cereza looked at her master. Huh? She saw an expression of which she did not think Morgana was capable. It was warm, filled with love. Morgana? You want to save him? How dare you? How dare you say those words after what you did to him, you foolish girl! Teresa, why is that demon still here? Did he not reach the altar? What do you think those years of training were for? Morgana appeared to be growing more angry by the second. She advanced on Cereza and Cheshire. Morgana? What are you saying? What's wrong? You still don't get it. The training, the brace, the dream. Do you have any idea how long I prepared for the day my precious Lucaon would return? Thunder crashed in the distance, wind screamed through the trees. A cold chill ran through the air. Dozens of girls I lured into that forest, each required years of training. All for naught. I was so close this time, but you had to go and ruin everything, you selfish brat. Cereza had endured her share of scolding from Morgana, but this time was different. These were not the words of a strict teacher. They were filled with nothing but pure loathing. Morgana, I... I... Useless girl! Lucaon and I will be together again. You will surrender that wretched demon this instant. Oh, I see. Made a new friend, have you? A demon born under the full moon of the bisextile night. That creature is the key to breaking Luca Orn's curse. Now, Cereza. I've waited far too long to let a child's sentiment stand in my way. Morgana, I know I wasn't a good pupil. I always messed up during training and broke your rules. Uh, I... I know I let you down. Y you might have been strict, but I always knew you cared about me. You are... like a mother to me. I just wanted to... Make you proud. Get away! <laughs> Pull yourself together, she is our enemy. Cheshire tried to get Cereza to her feet. Morgana's next attack would come at any moment. But Cereza could not move a muscle. Just then, something caused Morgana to stop. Using the last of his strength, Luca on clung to her dress. Please, mother! No more! I can't bear to see you like this! Don't fret, my dear. Soon everything will be back to the way it was. Mother! Mother! 
Her expression fixed, Morgana moved her son aside. A pity. You had the potential to become a fine witch, Cereza. If only you'd hardened your heart. But you were always so damn soft!
What's wrong? Giving up without a fight? Ceresa heard Cheshire's voice ringing clearly in her mind. What am I supposed to do? There's no way I can fight Morgana. I see. Well then, I guess that means our journey is over, hmm? The demon sounded disappointed. Our journey? That's what you'd call it, right? This whole thing to save your mum? You blabbered so much about her, even I was starting to look forward to meeting her. Cheshire paused. What is it? I'm sorry for what I did back there in the forest. Cheshire. And you were right. I never would have made it this far on my own. Thank you. Ceresa was moved by the demon's unexpected words. Cheshire, wait! I promise to send you home. I intend to keep that promise. Friends protect each other. Friends keep their promises. Gone was the fear and hesitation from Cereza's eyes. In its place was courage and steadfast resolve. I am an Umbra witch, just like my mum. Come on, let's dance!
Morgana. Stopping my mother. It was an honor to meet you both. It was almost time to say goodbye to Lucan. I wish we could. 
could have become friends. We did, Sarisa. And for that, I am thankful. Mother and child shared a tender embrace. This was the warmth he had been dreaming of. Thank you for always watching over me, Mother. You can rest now. I'm happy I was able to see your face one last time. Good night, my son. Teresa did not know where fairy souls went in this chaotic world, but wherever Lukaon wound up, she hoped he would find peace. Come for Morgana the Witch. Her peaceful expression was replaced by one of agony. It was almost too much to watch. This is the fate that awaits every Umbra Witch. An eternity wandering the depths of Inferno. Ceresa did not look away. She watched as Morgana's soul was dragged to the underworld. Cheshire realized that this unexpected twist of fate had delivered exactly what he sought. A door to Inferno lay before him. But the portal was already growing unstable. It threatened to close at any moment. The journey had left the demon totally exhausted. Struggling to keep his eyes open, he stared pensively at his door home. will take you back to Inferno. <sighs> Go on. It'll close soon. Cheshire looked back at Ceresa. His expression said what they were both thinking. If I go back, you'll be all alone. Even after all you've been through, you're still gonna treat me like a kid? <laughs> Just wait, I'll be strong enough to summon you myself in no time. You just take it easy for a while, okay? Cheshire quietly turned back towards the portal.
A calm returned to Avalon Forest. As if to wash away the pain of the night, the first rays of dawn enveloped Ceresa, bathing her in their warmth. I knew you'd make it. Looks like you'll be fine on your own, Cereza. Sean! Oh, thank you! I'll see you again when this is over. You have grown into a splendid witch, Ceresa. You are going to be just fine. Once a regular nightmare, after that day, Ceresa never saw that dream again. and farewells, thinking of the promise she made to her friend 
Ceresa knew that she had gained something irreplaceable. The night was young. Ceresa set off on her next adventure, the pale moon lighting her way.
The end.